currently Tuesday. I have three days left at home before I go back to uni and the sun is out so definitely just trying to make the most of it. Right now me and Rose are heading over to my Auntie Jackie's. I feel like we've spent so much time with her recently. I think she's going to be making some of her scones and she's going to show us how to actually make them because I just keep raving on about them this summer so hopefully when I'm at uni I can kind of at least try and replicate it. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. And then we're going over to her neighbor's garden because he grows all his own veg so I just want to see like how he does it and also try and steal some stuff maybe potentially who knows um, and then we're gonna go for a swim they live next to this really nice little river so hopefully we'll fit in a swim and then she's taking us out for dinner tonight so very Jackie fun filled day I thought I would just take you along with me for my last few days I seem really sad about it. I know I'm gonna find it really fun once I'm there, but it's just always the thought of leaving. I, I'm like, oh. But we're not thinking about that. We're just gonna enjoy the last few days. This is so cute. This is the neighbors, where it's like a mini art gallery. cottage across the bay there. Oh wow. So cool. What are you actually using to like make all the, um, the, the, the well, like paper, 3D? Paper, leaves and tree bark are the three main materials. So that's ah. tree bark in there. And tree That's bark so cool. Yeah. yeah I love that. Yeah. Yes, this is good inspo for your I know. art projects. Art. What did you say it was called again? Hollyhock. Hollyhock. Big nose and um, you pickle them in, in vinegar uh -huh. and you keep them. I've got jars and jars of them. Did you pull all those off? Uh, yeah, all my onions, yeah, they're just drying out, yeah. Wow. Oh, cool. A bit of more to each. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> I love Yay! Oh, Phil, I actually had some your when you were camping. Oh, oh yeah, yes, she did. did. After wandering about Phil's garden and him showing us all the amazing vegetables and plants that he's been growing, we then took the bikes down to the river and they have mastered the art of when to come down to this river. We went at the most perfect time of day when the sun was just gleaming over it and it had heated up the water perfectly. Don't get me wrong, it's September so it was still freezing but it was so refreshing. Wow. That was amazing. That feels so good. Yeah. I'm just back from the swim and that was like the nicest swim of the whole summer I think which is just perfect because it's obviously going to be my final swim of the summer yeah and I just feel really lucky that I got it today it was such a nice final day almost because tomorrow is technically my last full day but I'm gonna have to pack so this was my last day to just enjoy sky and I feel like I've really managed to do that, like all my favourite things and I'm going for dinner tonight. 
we're going to Caberfe, which is where I spent the summer working. So it's a very nice close full circle kind of moment. It's so dramatic, like a full circle closure moment. It will be really nice to go in and say bye to everyone. And I also have to give the chef back the equipment that we used for making the bread a few weeks ago, if anyone remembers that. And but I need to get ready because our table is in half an hour and I am sitting here with mud on my leg from the swim, wet hair, no makeup on, not ready in the slightest, obviously. So yeah, I'm gonna get ready. Okay, I am ready for dinner, but I'm running so late, so I'm gonna have to go. Um, if you wanna see my outfit, you're gonna have to go on TikTok. I showed it on that, but this is a little preview. It's very cute, so yeah, go look at my TikTok. Hello, look at the absolute state of me. It is the next day, so it's Wednesday. I leave tomorrow and I have just spent the entire day packing and getting organized, so I have stayed in my pajamas. Honestly, slay, don't care. I'm stressed because I'm getting the bus. Usually when I go down, I manage to get a lift with Rebecca, one of my friends. She didn't even have to go to uni early. It's just I'm going quite late. Like I'm missing Freshers Week. Freshers Week is, is currently um but honestly like uh yeah I, d I don't mind missing that i'm getting the bus and i don't know if i can even take all of the stuff and then yeah it's just so much easier in a car and i'm really dreading it i mean i dread that bus anyways because it's eight hours i think maybe i'm being over dramatic seven um and it's just notorious for being pretty awful so can't wait. Um, and it's at half seven in the morning. <laughs> Hi guys, a little bit of a, a bit of a jump in the vlog because yesterday was just hectic and I did not pick up the camera once. But I'm now in Glasgow, I've moved in. I'll give you a wee room tour when it's completely finished. I'm in a rush, as you can tell by my voice. I'm going to get my hair done and I'm really excited. I'm going to a new hairdresser's, which always scares me. This is my, this is my outfit. Um, I just got this jacket off of Vinted yesterday because I don't know if you guys can tell. It's very similar to my dad's jacket. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, this week's vlog, she's been all over the shop, but it's just the reality of it. Like, moving to uni is so stressful, and I don't know what I was expecting trying to vlog in the mix of it. So, you know, gonna be real. I got my hair done two days ago now, and um, I'm actually so 50 50 about whether or not I like it. Like, I don't even know, it probably looks so dark right now because of the lighting, um, but it is so dark. Ah, anyways, yesterday we had Trail West, which was in the Barrowlands in Glasgow. Trail West are just like a Tudor band, basically. So all the Highlanders get together for it, and it's just so fun. Like, it's just so nice. Like, everyone from the Highlands and Islands is kind of all, all just getting together for a big Rami, basically. And it's the best. yesterday and it was so fun but I have been so dead all day today. So just before I conclude this weekly vlog I really wanted to show you guys a quick room transformation because the state that this room was in at the start of the week 
versus now, which is Sunday night, is just like a different room. And I'm so excited to show you guys. there's obviously always room for improvement like, but it's a work in progress and you kind of get a feel for it now and I just I'm so in love with it. Blue Belgrade and the Poster Club kindly gifted me pretty much everything that you're seeing behind me and my room like, it's really brought the countryside cottagecore highlandy feel to the city which I'm just so grateful for because the owner of it is actually from the highlands and all the details are just, they just have little highland details. Like for example, this lamp is all wildflowers that you would find up in the highlands. And yeah, like this chair was gifted from them as well. It's just so gorgeous. I know my laptop's sitting on it right now, but you get the idea. And then all the bedding minus that green pillow is from Bluebell Grey. And then all my posters, as usual, are from the poster club. Just the same as my bedroom back home. They supply all my posters because like their stuff is genuinely gorgeous. I love all of it and yeah, I just feel really, really lucky that they kindly gifted me all this stuff because it's really made my room just feel so cozy and homely, I think. Um, but yeah, I love it. Now I want to go to bed. <laughs>